But in Democracy 2012 tonight, the Ask the Candidate series focuses on the race for Kansas Senate, the 21st District. Tonight we hear from Republican Greg Smith. Why should voters elect you? I think my experience in the legislature um, is something that gives me an edge. I've been up there, I've worked to uh, better the economic environment for Kansas. Um, this tax cut that we just passed this last session has been a huge boost to the economy already. I've talked to voters when I've been out walking door to door that said, man, that's really helped our business. It's going to put more money in our pocket come January when it's tax time. Um, my whole focus the whole time I've been in Topeka is to work for the people of Kansas, and I, th I think that that's one of the reasons that folks should vote for me. What is your plan to improve the economy? Well, the plan's similar to what uh, the same thing that I was doing in the House. The idea is to get government out of the way, let private enterprise create the jobs, and then, um, I mean, let's face it, government doesn't create jobs, uh, and the ones we do create cost people money. So we need to get out of the way and let the people that know how to create jobs create those jobs. Um, so that we can uh, help everybody. What's your plan for improving education? Well, education is something that's important to me. I mean, I'm a public school teacher. Um, and so it's something that I watch very, very carefully. You know, there's this th thought out there in the, in the general public's mind that, you know, the people always say, well, we just need to spend more money and education will get better. And if that was the case, we've spent over an extra billion dollars in the last 12 to 15 years in Kansas, and nothing's changed. Our test scores are the same. Our graduation rate stayed the same. Everything stayed the same. So if, if throwing all this money at it is supposed to make it better, it's not working. Now, the upside is we have an excellent education system in Kansas. Uh, we score well on national standardized tests. Um, we have students that receive awards for all kinds of academic achievement. Um, so we do really, really well. The problem we have with our education system right now comes in the way that it's financed. There's 105 counties in the state of Kansas, and one county, Johnson County, pays 30% of all funding for state education. We only have 19% of the students, and we only get 12% of the money. So the, the funding formula that we have is, is flawed, and it picks winners and losers. Kids in Johnson County, people don't believe this when they hear it, actually get less money per student than 90% of the rest of the state of Kansas. And so we need to fix the formula so it's a fair formula for everybody and not tilted to pick winners and losers. Well, tomorrow on 41 Action News at 5, we'll hear from Smith's challenger, Democrat Juanita Roy. We'll be right back.